Captain's log. We got a ferocious man eating turkey up ahead. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Probably gone. Oh, no, I still see it. The camera won't pick it up. It's right in the bush. You can see what kind of track is that. There's all kinds of weird stuff running around here. The last past couple of days got mild, so everything's active. Let's see if there's any more turkeys in there. There's one in there. I already scared a wild chicken. That's what I think about that. Oh, I think it's gone. <laughs> the camera's too wide angle. You probably won't even see it. But, uh, but I got some news for my trap, and uh, I didn't catch anything. But um, the beavers aren't coming out of the beaver house, and I probably probably not as many beavers there as I thought because I trapped it out a few years ago. Uh, lots of stuff running around my snares, and I saw a semi-unidentifiable uh, track yesterday. <laughs> Did not know what it was. I was like, it's either a Godzilla fisher, the biggest fisher track I've ever seen, or an otter that lost weight and is raising his belly while he runs, because usually with an otter, you'll see the belly rub right away. But it was like an otter two and two track. So the only thing I thought was too, was way too big to be a fox, uh, way too big to be a fisher. But I think I did see fisher or martin tracks uh, up ahead probably fisher just this is like it goes to a tree and then it goes up then it goes to the next tree and then it comes down and goes so that's kind of like martin stuff right uh, they do that uh, but fishers do that too fishers are really excellent climbers uh, but apparently i have to make a correction on this channel uh, about a video i made earlier about bobcats uh okay story goes like this once upon a time my dad put out a, a trail cam in the fall and we saw some sort of cat-like figure on it figuring it was a lynx but couldn't really tell because it was the night vision mode and he was a little bit blurry and he was like showing his butt to us kind of rude but he did that uh, so we couldn't tell if it was a bobcat or a lynx it was just you couldn't distinguish usually a bobcat you could tell a bobcat from a lynx right away. But in the picture, it was a little too grainy to tell. And I know there's been lynx around here. Usually one goes through every now and then. Something went through here. Little squirrel. Yes, yeah, squirrel. Saber tooth squirrel. Uh, and then I uh, saw a track up here. If I, and I saw a track yesterday. And the, by the time I came back to it, it had kind of melted in a bit. And I couldn't get good, good definition. So I should have took the video, but I didn't. But I saw one up here earlier, so hopefully the mild weather didn't ruin it. But apparently my uncle saw two bobcats yesterday morning and the morning after, or the morning before. He's like, hey, I, so I told my dad about the track. He goes, yeah, it's bobcats. I go, oh, I said, I don't know. He goes, yeah, he goes, uh, my uncle Steve saw the, the two bobcats crossing on the mountain. So I'm like, well, if they're crossing there. They're going back there. So... Who knows, maybe I'll catch a bobcat or two. I'd like to catch one, I don't want to catch two. Because like, uh, I've never seen a bobcat in my life. Uh, I've never seen a link, lynx. I've seen their tracks many times, but I've never seen them, you know what I mean? Uh, but they're more nocturnal hunters and stuff like that too, so you don't see them easily. And like, do not kid yourself, right now there's probably about 20 different type of animals watching you, other than squirrels and turkeys and war chickens little wild chickens or whatever there's probably some sort of uh, wolf or coyote there's a wolf or coyote track we're pretty we're pretty sure it's a coyote track uh, i see it every almost every day but it's more down on that end he does come down this way near the baits a lot there's a lot of stuff running around my baits you got that a big 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 pine tree that one's been there for many many moons I'm glad they didn't cut it down i like big trees uh, that one's that one's getting big too, but see that one's dying. That one's dying. At some point, it's probably gonna be completely dead. But yeah, but all this little dead stuff should be all cut out. Fire hazard, right? Uh, and allow new growth in. But anyway, uh, point I'm making is there could be possibly two, yes, two um, bobcats, uh, which makes sense because there has been a bit of a boom. I can't say a huge rabbit boom. Bobcats and rabbits and lynx 
uh, particularly bobcats, will go with the rabbit cycle. So about every 9 to 14 years, you, you tend to get a boom in rabbits. And that usually coincides with, we will talk about them, the wild chickens. When you see lots of wild chickens, you're going to see bobcats and lynx. Uh, but bobcats are almost exclusively bunny squash hunters. And whenever they catch a bunny squash, that's like their main meal. And where I'm throwing stuff, I threw carrots there the other day. So that's probably like all, the bunny squatches are going in underneath my snares because they've got them set high enough. They just run right in underneath it. They'll never get caught. And if they do, they're really, really, really stupid. Uh, but that becomes bait for something else or, or a meal. I've had wild rabbit a few times. Not much to eat. I mean, it looks like you got a whole rabbit, but it's almost all bone. Like there's really hardly any meat on a rabbit. As fat and puffy as they look, once you get the hide off them, they're a pretty slender animal. There's almost like zero fat on them. And uh, very, very lean meat. Uh, you, I've mentioned this many times, uh, rabbit starvation. Uh, easiest animal to catch, but you will starve to death eating them. Many trappers way back in the day starved to death and they couldn't figure out why. And it's because there's, there's like literally zero nutrition in a rabbit. But if you want to lose weight, uh, they are tasty. It's just, you get, like if you just ate wild meat, any type, you would lose a lot of weight because there's no steroids in there. Uh, a moose is about half the nutrition of a, of a, of a you know, of beef. Then after that, it's pork. Then after that, maybe bear. And then after that, very distantly is deer. So very lean stuff. That's why when you eat wild meat, one or two things happens to you. First, if you're not used to eating wild meat, don't leave home too far and don't get too far from the toilet if you're not used to it. I'm used to wild meat, so it doesn't phase me. But uh, it takes a while to get used to that. And once you do, you're good. But uh, for those that are not used to wild meat, yeah, it tends to give you the schlitz, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's worth it because it's so tasty, but, uh, you know, what goes in comes out, right? Uh, but uh, the other thing is that uh, you'll eat the best moose steak of your life, and you'll be so full for, like, five minutes. And after that, you got to go get a snack because it's just, like, it doesn't stay with you. Well, maybe moose stays with you a little bit more, but, uh, like, it doesn't fill you. Because it doesn't have the nutrition, right? A uh, deer's like that. But again, great if you're trying to keep the weight off and it's clean meat, so I like that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about the beavers. Yes, I've had beaver meat before, it's good. Very greasy, I've had it barbecued only. Uh, but uh, apparently uh, people make uh, beaver tail soup, uh, little chunklets out of the beaver. I can imagine it'd be quite fat, but uh, my uncle had it, he said it was really good. He said it was, you know, kind of chewy, but it was good. Uh, and they put it in a stew. I can see it, it'd be like a okay. I'm gonna tell you some funny facts about beavers that I didn't know myself, but it explains a lot now. But beavers obviously have a weird smell to them uh, because they eat poplar all the time, right? And apparently, if you really sniff, <laughs> I'm not saying do this to a live one because you'll probably get quite offended on you. But uh, if you sniff their butts, they smell like vanilla, and it, it's like. For years of that weird beaver smell, it's like, yeah, it's kind of like a wild, greasy smell with like a vanilla in, of some type on it. And, you know, there is basically vanilla in uh, poplar trees, right? It's like a natural vanilla. So it's like, yeah, beaver butts smell like vanilla. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, yeah, but that also gives their meat uh, a bit of a strange taste now mind you if you bust the glands open you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to eat the meat if you bust the glands open or like that but yeah the meat is pretty good it's greasy something more like you'd mix kind of like a it's greasy like bear meat but bear meat has a, a drier taste to it uh i guess that's about the best i could and bear meat bear meat is like a hit and miss where beaver meat is consistent um, you know, where it's like, because the beavers eat the same thing all the time. Bears, if you get like a, a fish bear or a dump bear, it's going to be pretty rank, and, uh, rank to eat. Most people don't eat their spring bears, you know, because they're rancid. They're pretty much rancid at that point. But uh, if you have a bear that lives in like a blackberry patch or blueberry patch or something like that, or around bees, he's probably going to be kind of yummy. 
you know, he'd be well seasoned, you know. So the bear is all about the seasoning, right? And uh, the beavers, well, they're just greasy vanilla, vanilla eat butts, greasy vanilla butts. I never thought I, I never thought I could make that association, greasy vanilla butts. What do you say after that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, I scared a wild chicken around here earlier because he knows who he knows who he's messing with. And he was running around uh, in there the other day, but I ran off the track and was like, oh geez, my boots are all full of snow. So I had to change my felts last night. <laughs> it's like, why are my feet all wet? Oh, damn war chicken. Those wild chickens. They want a war. I'll give them a war. To mock war. Anyway, I don't gotta. Oh, I missed the, the track again. And if I find that other track, I'll show you it.